Hello, in this video, I'd like to talk about vector operations with Mathematica. You can find a list of functions to use under the operations on vectors um, category topic under the documentation center. I'll go over a couple of topics and then some examples here. So first of all, uh, Mathematica does not distinguish between points and vectors. They're both defined using curly braces. So let's say we have the first point in curly braces. Let's say we have another point, P2, in curly braces again. And, um, and we want to define the vector, let's say, that goes from P1 to P2. So we simply we just do P2 minus P1, and we have the vector. We can also define vector directly, again, using curly braces. So vector operations work in a very simple, easy way. You, just, you can just add vectors, for example. You can mul multiply a vector by a constant. We can, let's say, uh, square each part, each component of the vector. We can take the square root of all of the parts of the components of the vector. Um, let me fix that. Okay, um, so that is that. All right, so we can also find um, the magnitude of a vector by using the norm function. There we go. Uh, now, a few words about angles. Um, as you know, um, the cosine and sine functions uh, within Mathematica uh, work Oh, in radians, so cosine of 5 or 4, for example. But uh, let's say we want to um, find the cosine of 45 degrees, which should be the same, right? Uh, unfortunately, um, Mathematica does not uh, <clears throat> accept that in degrees. We have to specify by simply typing uh, degrees. So just degree, and then it will automatically evaluate it as a degree. So this is something to keep in mind. Now, let's say we have a vector which... Um, has a magnitude five and uh, it is at a 30 degree angle from the horizontal, right? So how do we um, find, express that vector? We can simply say, okay, so it has magnitude um, five, right? I think that's what I said. And then we just put in the components. We say, all right, cosine of 30 degrees. All right. And comma sine of 30 degrees. All right, so that is our vector. So that's a vector of magnitude five and at a 30 degree angle. And, um, and we, can, uh, we can find out, the, uh, uh, reevaluate the, the magnitude by typing norm of that angle. And sure enough, it tells us that that is the norm. Um, we can also find uh, the dot product between two vectors. So we just put the period sign u dot v, and um, the period uh, uh, excuse me the period um, on the on the on the calculator. So uh, so let me see here. I think I think u I, I had to redefine uh, uh, to make sure that it has the right size. So because v s was three dimensional was u, and u was uh, two dimensional. So let me let me fix that. All right, so we can just do u dot v, there we go. And there's the u dot v. Uh, <clears throat> we can also find the cross product by doing u, and then we hit the escape button, and then type the words C-R-O-S-S, -S, and then hit the escape button again, and sure enough, that's our cross product symbol. We just u cross v, there it is. As you know, uh, the cross product of two vectors is also itself a vector. Um, so a couple of other things uh, we can find, uh, we can normalize a vector. Now, what does that mean? Okay, normalizing. It just means that finding the same vector, but having a size, having size one. All right, so when we normalize a vector, so let's say we want to do normalizing a, a vector u. Uh, there's the norm. Uh, now, we could have also done that simply by taking u and dividing it by its norm. Okay. 
that has the same effect as you can see. So, uh, and if you were to find the norm of that normalized vector, just going to uh, evaluate the 83rd third output, you can see it's equal to one because a normalized vector has um, uh, has a uh, magnitude of one. Okay. Um, so now, well, how do we find the angle uh, of that vector? So let's say we have a two-dimensional vector um, that we defined um, of size 10. And uh, let's suppose it is at a 10 degree angle. So let's define it first. So this is a 10 degree angle, uh, magnitude 10. That is, that is our vector, vector u. Okay, so let's say we want uh, to find again its magnitude to, um, sure enough, of course, it should be 10. Um, now, it, 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 it gave us uh, the, uh, the result in a precise no notation, but we can get that by approximating it. Let's see if we get the right answer here. There it is. Um, now, what if we want the angle? So we can simply do that by using, um, let's see here. Uh, vector angle option. Now that option works, uh, that function works uh, by when you enter uh, an angle between two vectors. So if you want the angle with the horizontal, you have to enter the horizontal vector, which simply is one comma zero. So let's do that. So we're gonna do a vector angle we want vector angle between u and the vector one comma zero. There we go. And, and it's it's going to give us the arc cosine precise uh, uh, response, but we can response, but we can uh, approximate it, and that should also give us ten. Okay, so that that angle is in radians. So to convert that uh, into um, degrees, right? Um, we can let's see uh, multiplied let's multiply it by 180 over pi there we go so um so that's one way in which we can uh, we can accomplish that so we can also find um the distance between two vectors by using the function euclidean uh, 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 euclidean distance there it is Euclidean distance. So uh, let's say we have uh, vector u here. Let's see, what do we have for vector u? 3, 5, 10, and u, vector v, let's redefine it uh, into something like this, let's say. We want the distance between these two, so we just type Euclidean distance, and then we just type the vectors, and there it is. The distance between the two vectors is three in this case. Uh, finally, we can project one vector onto another. All right. So uh, for that, we will use the uh, projection function. Uh, so we just use projection. Okay. Um, so let's try that. So we can do projection, and then we project the vector u onto v. Um, if we want to do a projection of the vector u onto, let's say, uh, um, the x-axis here, so we'll just do one comma zero comma zero, and you can see we have obtained um, the first component, the x-coordinate of the vector u. Now, if we uh, do a projection, let's say, of the vector u onto the y-axis. then we should get the second component. There it is, five. Well, a vector representing that second component. Okay, so at this point, uh, let's go through some examples. So let's say we have this first problem here. Uh, we have to find the vector that has the same direction as uh, three, six, negative two, but has length five. Okay, so this is um, pretty easy. Um, so the first thing we need to do is we need to define the vector u um, as the, as uh, indicated. 
in the problem. Then we need to um, make this uh, of unit one, right? So we could do that by taking u and dividing it by its magnitude or simply using the normalized function. Okay. And then we just need to multiply this uh, by five. Okay. Um, so we'll just take um, uh, five and multiply it by normalized u. Okay, as you can see, we have the right answer. So let's take a look at uh, this problem number two here. Uh, in this problem, we have to find a resulting uh, force and find its magnitude and angle. So first step is to express each of these uh, vectors um, in their standard form. Okay, so to do that, uh, we're gonna let vector u equal, let me make sure I'm entering in the correct mode here. All right, so vector u has to equal <clears throat> 22 multiplied by cosine of 45 degrees, comma sine of 45 degrees. Make sure that you're entering <clears throat> everything in the current correct um, capitalization. Uh, and then we have vector v. Uh, vector v is 16 multiplied by that, by cosine of, look, looks like in this case, negative 30 degrees. All right, so we have our two vectors. So to find the resulting vector, it's very simple. We just add the two vectors. u plus v is the resulting vector. Uh, now, at this point, we just need to find its magnitude. To do that, we just do the norm. Okay. And um, uh, to find, uh, to convert that into actual approximation, uh, we can just nest it with the approximating function, n, right from the beginning. And there it is. That's the correct answer, about 30.4. Now, to find the angle... Um, we have to uh, take this u plus v and uh, uh, we have to find um, the angle between the two vectors. The two vectors are u plus v and the vector 1 comma 0. Of course, the x-axis vector towards the positive direction. And uh, that's our angle in, of course, um, radians. To find that in degrees, I just need to multiply it by 180 and divide it by pi. Make sure, again, you're entering pi in uh, correct um, capitalization. Now, again, this is the correct answer, but we just we want it to be an approximation. So we're going to, again, come back here and nest it into uh, nest it in this whole thing inside the uh, approximating function, capital N. All right, there it is, 14.4. Um, so that's the vector angle, um, and that is the magnitude of the angle. So obviously we could have done all this uh, by pencil paper, but this is uh, relatively faster, of course.